Now, what if we wanted to add in a third position? Let's say that we also wanted this position for the coupler. How would we include that in this analysis? So we do the same type of thing. We defined the new position. So let's call this, say, P0, Q0. And then we connect the endpoints. So P1 and P2 are already connected. We need to connect P0 and P1. And then Q2 and Q1 are connected. So let's connect Q0 and Q1. Then we need to draw the perpendicular bisectors from those lines. So Q0 to Q1, go to the middle, come out perpendicularly. And then P0 to P1, we go to the middle, we come out perpendicularly. So now we just need to look at where these intersect. So we look at where does the Q points, perpendicular bisectors intersect. So we have one from here, one from here, and those intersect down here. So this is one ground point. So for a three position, there's only going to be one choice for each ground point, because we have to look at the intersection of the bisectors. So then we go to where do the P bisectors intersect? That is here. So if we draw the linkage in these different positions, say the original position, so that would be one, and then the middle position, So you can see that the size of R2 and the size of, or actually this is R2, this is R4, basically stayed the same. We have R4, R2, and then finally the last position R4. R2. So this is how you do rigid body guidance for three positions. Now with a four bar linkage, you cannot do rigid body guidance for more than three positions if the linkage moves in two dimensions. So three positions is the max for two dimensional space. Um, if the ground points could be moved three dimensionally, then you would have some more options. So now that we've solved this graphically, how could we solve it analytically? How could we get the actual numbers we need for like coordinates of the ground points? Well, there are two different ways to do this, the line method and the circle method. So for the line method, you have to be able to just find the equations of each of those lines. So like, connecting the, those yellow dashed lines that connect the P points and then the yellow dashed lines connecting the Q points. You get the equation of the connecting lines. And then you get the equation of the perpendicular bisectors. So the connecting lines equation, you'll know those because you define the points. Remember over here, defining positions. Those are positions that you choose. So you know the coordinates of those points. So you can get the equations of the lines that connect them using y equals mx plus b formula. So then you have to get the equation for the perpendicular bisectors. So to do that, recognize that the slope of the bisector is a negative reciprocal of the slope of the connecting line. So let's say slope of connecting line is m1, and you want to get slope of bisector m2. m2 equals negative 1 over m1. That's the equation for that. So then once you get the equation of the bisectors, you find the intersections. 
So you'll have a y equals mx plus b equation for each of the bisectors. You just set those equations equal to each other and solve for the x and y coordinates of the intersection. And that x and y is going to be the coordinates of the ground points. Now with the circle method, you just have to recognize that the ground point is the origin of a circle. And the link that touches each of the P's or each of the Q's would be the radius of that circle. So for example, this fourth ground point right here, this is the origin of the, the Q circle. And the radius of the Q circle is R4. So we look at R4 touches Q0, Q1, Q2 in an arc. And that arc would continue. You could keep going around and it would make it as a circle. So then if you've got those three points, you can just find the center of the circle because you know that the equation for the circle is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So we're trying to find a and b because a and b would be the coordinates for point q. And then x and y come from the actual q points. like that. So then you have three equations. So one equation per Q point or one equation per P point. And then there will be three unknowns, A, B, and R. So we solve that system of three equations. So the line method or the circle method will both result in the same answer for the origin of the ground points and the length of the con connecting link. Now let's look at a MATLAB simulation of this. So if we run the program, you can see first position red, second position green, third position blue. And then we can see all the positions right here, where all of the pink lines intersect from the left endpoints and where all of the blue lines intersect from the right endpoints. <laughs> 